In this video, we thought it'd be fun to talk about one of the most notorious bartenders that ever mixed a drink. His name was Michael Finn, but his friends, they all called him Mickey. Finn was an all-around ruffian and ne'er-do-well. He spent his early years as a thief and a pickpocket. He was particularly adept at hanging out in bars, waiting for customers to get good and sauced, and then mugging them on their way home. In 1896, Finn upgraded to a new, nobler position when he became the bartender and proprietor at the Lone Star Saloon and Palm Garden Restaurant on South State Street, affectionately called Whiskey Row by the papers of the time. The place was just another grimy, flea-infected Chicago watering hole until about 1898. That's when Finn, always on the lookout for new ways to commit crime, met up with a local scoundrel called Dr. Hall, who sold Finn some brown bottles filled with mysterious white powder or liquid. The stuff was never identified, but it was thought to be something called chloral hydrate, billed as a sedative. And boy was it. For the next five years, the Lone Star Saloon and Palm Garden Restaurant, already known as the roughest bar in the city, would get even more dangerous. When a patron entered who looked like he might have something worth stealing on him, Finn would slip him some of his sedative into the drink. Eventually, the patron would pass out, and when he did, Finn and some of the people who worked there would take him into a back room, strip him, rob him, and then dump his naked body back in the alley. When the patron finally came to around 12 hours later, they'd have no memory of the night's events or how they got there. Finn kept up this racket until 1903 when he was finally caught and the bar was shut down. But, thanks to accounts in the press about his deeds, the act of putting knockout drops into someone's drink would forever be known as slipping them a mickey. We hope you enjoyed this brief bit of history. For Bucket List Bars, I'm Clint Lanier. Cheers!